So today has been porch roof repair, so now you can see we've got a, a nice overhang. Rather than before that was flush with the side, which is no good because rain was just dripping straight into the porch. So now on either side, I had our builder take off all the tiles, some edging on there, and you can see that's a beautiful job now just to make a massive difference to the rain. Now it's going to hit the gutters rather than down the sides. So hopefully this type of damp will be prevented from happening in the future. So rather than coming on the inside, it should just drip straight off the edge into the gutter or off onto the ground. Um, what else? We've had finishing on here now, so the plaster's done. Perfect for that. So it's great to see that now just drying off. It'll probably take a couple of weeks before we can paint that. So never mind. Um, I've done this room, so I've painted. All nicely done with sheen. Uh, I've done in here as well. So this is the dining room. So all done. Took a little while. Um, we've had a couple of little auxiliary jobs done. We've had some flashing done at the top, just where the uh, flat roof meets the kitchen. Which I will do in part two. In fact, I'll do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Okay. Hopefully, we will have glossing tomorrow as well, or satin wood, rather, satin wood finish. Uh, looking forward to that going on. There's been a lot of preparation, a lot of cleaning that the painter's been doing. Um, while we're up here, I've just done a bit of a tidy up. It's not neat, uh, but that corner's now no longer mouldy. It's all been bleached and just, um, you know, I've just gone over there with some extra sealant. This is only a temporary shower until we get a corner bath in. Um, so I'm just going through and sealing this plaster in now. So, using something recommended to me, drywall primer. So I'm just going to go through, blitz these, these three sections here. That's where the sink was, of course. And then what else we had outside. Okay, we've just had some holes plugged. That's where the sink came out. And that flashing at the bottom, we've had that put back in. Um, so cut into the brickwork, uh, properly cemented in, so that's now going to let the water run off onto the flat roof, roof rather than into the kitchen where it joins the house. And then here, difficult to see, but this was actually, this sill was angled in, so it would actually run the water straight into the wall and cause a bit of a damp spot here. So um, I have painted that, I'm going to see what happens with this now because this has been drilled into the actual wooden sill and now it runs out, so the water should actually run away from the window and not back into it. I'm going to have a look at the flashing again. So that was another one of the easy jobs just to get done while the guy was here, so that's really nice to have those done. Um, so really that's day nine. Uh, Carpenter's coming back I think tonight, he might be tonight or tomorrow, just to finish off floorboards here because we've got a couple of loose ones and of course in the landing so we need those done as well and that will conclude day nine so we'll be back tomorrow for I'm hoping to do possibly the lounge tomorrow depends on all of that gear in there it might just be a um, second coat on all the bedrooms which will take me a little while and same thing for downstairs um, because in here there's rather a lot of stuff which I don't really want to cover in paint. Oh yeah, we've had our table and chairs delivered today. So fantastic, they can actually go out soon. That'd be great to see something come together. Um, but that's going to go into this room here, which is... Well, it just needs the gloss doing really, so I'm going to have to leave things in boxes for now. That's it for now.